The Day They Burned the Books By Jean Rees Jean Rees Born as Ella Gwendolyn Rees Williams on August 24, 1890, British novelist born and grew up in the Caribbean island of Dominica. Was educated in Perth School for Girls in Cambridge and Royal Academy of Dramatic Act in London. After the death of her father in 1910 and some distraught events, she began writing and produced an early version of her novel Voyage in the Dark. During the First World War she served as a volunteer worker in a soldier's canteen. In 1919, she married Willem Johan Marie, a French-Dutch journalist, spy and songwriter who was the first of her three husbands. In 1924, she came under the influence of English writer Ford Madox Ford. She died in Exeter on May 14, 1979 before completing an autobiography. The Day They Burned the Books Published in 1968 in the collection Tigers Are Better Looking Expresses the cultural tension between Western and Caribbean values, identity, and otherness. Events took place in exotic West Indies which is the region under the colonial rule of many European countries including England. Characters Eddie the narrator's friend. Mr. Sawyer, Eddie's father, an agent for a small steamship. Mrs. Sawyer, Eddie's mother, decent, respectable and educated woman. Mildred, the servant of Sawyer family. Summary Story starts with the first-person narrative where the narrator introduces her friend Eddie who is a very small, thin boy. Eddie's father, a strange man is an agent for a small steamship which linked Venezuela and Trinidad with the small island. He is an English man who married a decent, respectable, and nicely educated colored woman. Eddie's father is obsessed with his English heritage and expects Eddie to be the same. The narrator and Eddie are unsure of their cultural identity. Mildred, the servant of Sawyer's, once pulled the hair of Mrs. Sawyer during a dinner party and bald not a wig, you see. Mildred told the incident to other servants in the town that he has ridiculed the colored woman. The Sawyers lived in a very pleasant house in Hill Station. Mr. Sawyer built a room onto the back of his house which is unpainted inside which contained the smell of the wood. He constructed a bookshelf and it was filled with books he bought and brought by the Royal Mail Streamer periodically. On a Saturday afternoon, the narrator went there to borrow the Arabian Nights from Eddie. Mrs. Sawyer hated the room and the books. The narrator and Eddie discussed about their cultural identity and home. Eddie claims he does not like strawberries or daffodils which are English. The narrator states that her relations with the few real English boys and girls she had met are awkward. Both of them were ridiculed by the black children. Just after the twelfth birthday of the narrator, Mr. Sawyer died. As a special friend of Eddie the narrator went for the funeral. After the death of Mr. Sawyer Eddie and the narrator took possession of the room with the books. One day Eddie's mother and their housekeeper Mildred went into the room and started pulling books off the shelves and piling them into two heaps, the big and good looking into one heap and the old and damaged into another heap. Eddie's mother planned to burn the piles of book. Eddie and the narrator tried to prevent the books from being burned by both of them grabbing and saving one. Possessing a book they both got into the street and walked sedately. The narrator is happy as she saved a book and now as the owner she can read it from the beginning to the end. The narrator was very disappointed as the book she saved is Fort Cum La Mort which was in French and seemed dull. The books are Eddie's closest tie to being English and he cherishes them. His father tries to force an English identity upon him while his mother tries to take his English identity away. The narrator and Eddie struggle with their cultural identity because they have English roots but are growing up in the Caribbean. Jean Rees was raised in Dominica, but had a Welsh father and Creole mother. She felt out of place in Dominica, but estranged from her European roots. For more videos, like, share, subscribe. Thank you.